Let's go with the higher one if, if, you have, if you split the difference. Go with the strong field. Yes? Um, how do you know what the coordination number is? <laughs> how do you know what the coordination number is? You count the number of ligands. Two amines and two chloros. Total okay. So you're counting the subscripts. Okay. Okay? Yes? How did I get nine electrons? Is it okay that copper is two plus? You okay with that? Okay. Look in uh, the copper column. It has 11 electrons. It's called 11. Subtract two from that because it's missing two electrons. Nine. Anybody else? No? Yes? How do I know if it's strong field? Uh, you look at the spectrochemical series, which will be on the back of your exam. You need to remember that the line between strong and weak is between water and amine. That's on your own. And then uh, you always go with the strongest one if it splits the difference like this one. Yes? Um, what was this question asking again? What was the question asked? Just draw the CFT just for fun. Yeah, because it was two different shapes, you had to draw both because I gave you no additional information. Okay. And let's do a little bit on isomers, and then uh, I think we'll have to stop there for now, and then do specific questions. So, the uh, isomers makes people a little bit crazy, so let's be a, a little careful on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, by two. Okay. This is a bidentate, so it actually counts as four. Okay. The same is true for ethylene diamine. Okay. Or if it was EDTA, you'd multiply by six, because it's hexadentate. All right. So uh, I'm going to be focusing just on this part, the part in the brackets for now. Uh, because it's six, all the answers are octahedral shaped. So let's get our octahedral action going on. Okay, first of all, is fat over a possibility? Fat over, is that a possibility? It's not in this case, why is it not? You need three of something. And this only has two of something. You need two of a, three of a kind to do fat over. This is two of a kind, so this is cis and trans, yes. Uh, back and mer, uh, let's go to, uh, that would be, this is what, anybody? Mer, mer means two are on the same line. Back is where no two are on the same line. Then, okay, so all three on different axes for the right hand side, they're all kind of, kind of looks like the cis equivalent. The mer has one trans kind of look to it. Is that okay? Okay. All right, back to the problem we're on. Where did I? Here we go. Let's do the trans possibility. If you want to draw it by yourself without looking at what I do, go for it. But I'm just going to, limited of time, I'm just going to go for it. You would need to draw something that looks like this. For the bidentates, you need that kind of look. That's the shorthand way of doing a bidentate, where you just put the abbreviation and then kind of an arc going between two. Bidentate means bites twice, so it attaches at two of the six positions. Bidentates only attach cis, so don't try to draw a bidentate attaching trans. Okay, now let's draw the cis option.
Okay? cis option. Remember again, bidentate to always attach cis, so I'm only changing the cyanide in this case. Okay, am I done? No. What else should I draw? Uh, you can draw the potassium, so I kind of ignored it a bit. Uh, if you added the potassium, let's do that in a different color. Uh, that, oh, I kind of smudged this part, so I got that. CN. Uh, the potassium, it would be like, uh, this would be 3 minus, and this would be K plus 3, K pluses. I'm less hmm, angsty about the potassium. <laughs> okay, I'm more curious, are there any other complex ions I need to draw? Or am I done? If there is another isomer, <laughs> what would it be called? Optical isomer. So I have to ask myself, after I, I, this is how I do it, I draw all geometric isomers, cis-trans in this case. I see if anything else can be shuffled around in cis-trans, that looks about it to me. And then I ask myself, are either of these could have an optical isomer? Could the first one? No. Uh, no, trans uh, is not going to have an optical option. Could cis? Yes. It's possible. So. Unless you're sure, you better draw it or figure it out in your mind or wherever it comes from, figure this out. Okay, let's try it. So, uh, okay, so I want to draw the mirror image. This is kind of my scratch work because I don't know if this is a real answer yet. So, the cyanide and cyanide reflect there. Uh, there's the close by, there's an oxalato, and then far away, there's an oxalato. Okay. Now, either you need to visualize this spinning in your mind. If you can't do that, I'll presume you can't. You need to rotate it on paper so you figure out if it's the same or not. So let's try the paper method. If you're visualizing it, you're probably already done because you can visualize it. So. I want to see, I'm asking myself, are these two the same or different? Okay, if they're the same, then I don't worry about it. If they're different, then this is a third answer, okay, which is a second cis answer. Okay, so I want to match up ligands. So that if I match up ligands, I see if the other ligands match up as well. And I do that through usually rotation or flipping. So I recommend... I think the easiest ones to match up are the cyanides. So I want to rotate this along the vertical axis, okay? Or what, vertical to you because of the screen. Uh, how many degrees do I want to rotate this to match up the cyanides? 90, that's right. Because if, um, if this goes 90 degrees over to this position, it'd match that cyanide. Is that okay? So let's try that. I'm going to drop below because I don't have any more room to the right. So I'm going to rotate the vertical axis 90 degrees. The cyanide on the top is still there. Okay, this cyanide has now rotated over to this position. Where it doesn't rotate up here. This is not a hexagon. It's a, it's a kind of a square with a stick through the middle. Okay? So. That oxalata right there, this one on the right, is now where? Yeah, kind of the bottom, or what would be the front? So it's here. It's in the front half. This edge has rotated 90 degrees to here, so this is now here. You don't know where things are. And this half of it is now here. <coughs> okay? Now let's look at the other oxalata that was right there. The bottom part is going to stay in the same location because the vertical one is just spinning around its own axis. 
But this one rotates 90 degrees and I'm going to drop right there. Okay? So this part goes right there. Okay, just draw your, draw your best so that hopefully a TA can read this. If you have bad handwriting, do this slowly. Okay? All right. Now you have to ask yourself, are those the same or different? Remember that these are wedges, meaning they're coming towards you. This comes towards you. This goes away from you. These are dashes.